Godspeed to the Speedy Tribe. How we doing? I just want to just touch base on something real quick, and I just want you to know. The reason why your goals is not being reached, and the reason why you're not successful at what you do, right? None of your goals are coming to fruition because you yourself don't even believe in your goals. Right? So, growing up, I used to always just wish and hope and pray that I could achieve anything, right? And let me tell you, nothing started happening until I started really believing and started really like knowing my goals. Like I started knowing like my mindset, I started knowing the power within energy, right? So I'm gonna give y'all tips on how to manifest goals because a lot of people ha still have trouble with manifesting goals and it's, it's a simple tweak, right? So when you when you when you when you daydream right of your goals and when you I got my dumbbell by the way when you when you daydream in and you thinking about your goals daily right you be hoping and you be hoping and praying right and you got to understand hoping just think about the word hope. I want you to think about the word hope. And hope is something that stems from not really being too sure, but you're hoping that it's the right thing, right? So what I did was I started changing that hope into knowing, right? Because when you know, you have knowledge of something, right? And I started having knowledge of the fact that I really could manifest anything I really want to if I put the right energy towards it, right? So here's a tip. Here's one tip you can do en route to manifesting your goals. You can literally go within yourself, right? Be in solitude because it's important. Because when you're in solitude, you really get to know who you really are as a person, right? That gives you time. That gives you time to really study yourself, study your flaws, study your weaknesses, and you make them into strengths, right? So after you make it into strengths, that's when you start testing your strengths on certain areas and certain situations that you probably lacked in before that you failed in, right? After you pass the test, you pass the test, you go out and then you do more things to tweak whatever weaknesses you got. Whatever else weaknesses and flaws you have, you want to sharpen them as much as you can in order to sharpen yourself up as a person, right? After you sharpen yourself up as a person, you go, right? That's when you start meditating. You get into meditation, right? When you get into meditation, I want you to really, 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 really know that you have to block out whatever noise that's in your mind. Now, meditation, there's many forms of meditation, right? You, you have to block out and clear your mind in order for you to leave, right? Whatever realm, whatever mindset you in, Whatever crazy ass thoughts you got going through your head, right? You got to leave that. You know what I'm saying? You got to leave that alone for like a few minutes. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You, you, you breathe. You breathe for like 15 minutes straight. Literally. After you do that, right? Because you got to understand, this is, this is all how you manifest your energy. This is all how you transmute your energy, right? To cosmic energy, which ultimately leads to you being more clairvoyant being more in tune with yourself now you now you focusing on your breathing you focusing on your breathing that means you focusing on your energy right so when you focus on your energy that's when you know how to control your energy and harness it and put it towards thing like put it towards whatever that's gonna help you so what I used to do was this this is this is a tip from the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill right I would literally close my eyes right like I'm doing right now I will imagine me sitting at a table with five successful people of my choosing that I admire their work right so let's say your favorite basketball player your favorite singer your favorite artist your favorite your favorite painter anything you imagine yourself sitting at the table with them and you imagine yourself literally you're imagining yourself talking to them having lunch with them talking to them, just being friends, like if y'all all cool, right? Now, this is another form of visual, this is, this is what you call visualization, right? So visualization stems from you daydreaming 
and having that energy of you wanting to be successful, you're putting it towards an actual futuristic setting, right? Now, this, I'm telling you, this shit is real. Don't, don't, un, don't, don't sleep on this because this helped me in a lot of ways in life where I found myself in front of, front of millionaires, meeting NBA players, meeting NFL players, being cool with them, legends, all of that shit. Like, I got, the, I got their numbers and everything because of this one simple tactic and one simple method that I followed. Close your eyes, visualize yourself around some successful people and really, really believe. Like, when I mean believe, I mean believe to the point you know that you're gonna achieve this goal. Like, literally tell yourself, yo, I'm going to make this happen. I know I am. Have faith. The key to, to manifesting any type of goals is saying, is saying everything with conviction. When you convince yourself that you really couldn't achieve anything, your body and your mind and your spirit and everything else is gonna follow whatever convict, whatever convicted belief or knowledge that you have of becoming successful, bro. Yes, this worked for me. Yes, it will. I promise you, it will work for you. Like I, I wouldn't be making this video if it wasn't true. For real, I got my brand started by doing this. You know what I'm saying? It's reasons why, like back then, when I was in high school, I met Eric Thomas and he picked me out of the crowd to get his number and he fucking talked to me about, like, look, I'm, I got his number. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I got his number, you know what I'm saying? 2013, I, got, I was a freshman in college. I, I, I didn't speak to him that year. My sophomore year, going into my sophomore season, I called him and we talked on the phone for like a good 15 minutes. Literally helped me helped me out mentally, he prepped my mind. And after that, I scored my first college touchdown that season and everything. Manifested it right there on the phone before the season started. Because what he was saying, it had conviction in it. I believed it and then I started, but I didn't, I didn't hope to score a touchdown. I started knowing I was gonna score a touchdown. And that season I did. You get what I'm saying? You see the power of knowing and believing and actually really knowing what you know, rather than just hoping and thinking. Thinking comes from not knowing. Knowing comes from, from not thinking, you feel me? So just start knowing, man, start manifesting, start saying things with conviction, and I promise you, you will be successful. That's how you reach your success points in life, all right? So life is speedy, so go, I'm out.